Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison and Susan LaCroix. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. It is Sunday, July 10th. I can't believe that it's July already. <laughs> Sunday, July 10th, 2022. Sunday Stamping is our weekly video series where we share new Stampin' Up! projects with you and feature new products each week. So we're so excited that you're joining, whether this is your first time or um, you've been with us every week for the last year. We're so glad that you're here and watching with us. I'm not sure if I said it already, but noon <laughs> central time, 1 p.m. Um, is the time that we live premiere our videos on YouTube every week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Hey, mom, how are you doing this week? Hey, Julie. I'm doing okay. Um, we lost one of our dogs uh, last week, so it's been a little tough on the mm -hmm. other dog and uh, and me. <laughs> we're, we're and there. Dad, you guys all three. It's yeah, been a rough yeah. week. It's been a rough week, but you know we were expecting it, so it's not like it was a big shock and surprise. But anyway. Thank that's the hardest part of having a pet, right? Is knowing that you, <laughs> knowing that you will outlive them and that um, you'll have to go through that. So that's absolutely oh. very true. But other than that, um, you know, and again, we had a family funeral. I mean, it was, there's just been a lot going on. And um, so I've been mm -hmm. trying to play catch up with everything because we, there's a lot to catch up on uh, with yeah. my team and your team and an event that we're planning coming yeah. up. So, <laughs> I'm uh, really excited about vacation stamping school. We're kind of right in the middle of all the planning and getting everything ready. Uh, the last day to register, if you're a demonstrator and you want to join us for vacation stamping school, the last day to register is tomorrow, Monday, July 11th, 2022. Vacation stamping school is an all day training event for demonstrators. Um, this is the 17th year that we've done that. That's kind of hard to believe. We used to call it spring into stamping and then we moved it to the summer and now it's vacation stamping school. And so this event is going to focus on stamping and business training for the July through December mini catalog, which just launched. So yeah, I'm really excited. Do you want to tell everybody a little bit more about the event, mom? Well, it, we have, um, we have a lot of stamping presentations and a lot of samples and ideas that we want to share. And we also sprinkle in some business topics as well, just to help demonstrators kind of focus their business um, on the new catalog and how to use the new catalog to, um, to grow their business or even maintain their business. So this is a good little mini catalog to do it too. There is so much and yes. I'm just, uh, whew, it's going to be fun. I'm excited about my project and I have lots of work to do to get that finalized and ready and yeah, and get, get everything to <laughs> I, you and Meg. So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm working on mine. So I think my favorite part of this annual event is our new mix and match product class. And so that's what we're both working on. We each, there are seven different organizers, including mom and I, and we each have designed a project for this class. So it's featuring the lights of glow suite in the July through December mini catalog. That's the one that's on the cover. I always love the cover girl. Yeah. And <laughs> We've each designed a project that we're going to present. So you'll be able to stamp along with us. We're going to give you some ideas for how to use that project in your business. And then you can take those seven projects and you can mix and match them and create your own class using the tutorials that we'll give you. Or you can use them for, you know, workshops, stamp club, you know, whatever kind of events you're having. Or if you're just a happy stamper, you can just stamp along and make the projects along with us just for your own enjoyment. So I'm really excited about that. Plus, I I already ordered the event exclusive gift, which we've been brainstorming about. And I'm really excited about that. That's something that is not coming in the catalog, but it's part of the swag box. And it's something that is exclusive to this event. And only people who come to this event will get that special gift. So I'm really excited about that too. That's going to be fun. Are, and it's going to be a virtual, all virtual event this year. We've done that for the last couple of years for obvious reasons. Yes. And, um, and, and so, you know, we will dip our toe back into a live event at some point. I know that there are some demonstrators who, who want to be with other demonstrators mm -hmm. and network, and there's so much value in that. 
but I think um, we're just trying to be a little more cautious and just make sure before we have, you know, a couple hundred <laughs> demonstrators in a room <laughs> that, that we are all, we all feel comfortable with that. I think the biggest thing is being able to include our demonstrators across the country. You're in Michigan. Some of our organizers are in Pennsylvania, California, Illinois. So the organizers are all spread out, but so are our team members, right? We have team members that are all across the United States. And so having a virtual event allows us to include everybody on our team and be able to open it up to everybody who's not on our team and all demonstrators. So this is an event that's open to all demonstrators. And, you know, I'm missing the in-person gathering too. And so we're really encouraging registered attendees to gather together and have kind of a hybrid event. And I know you're going to do that with your team um, and have a everybody over to your house to stamp and have lunch and watch together and we have good a group yeah so that's so I much want fun. everybody to bring a little dish to share and you know we'll potluck and stamp and I love that. And, yeah. Anyway. I'm kind of jealous. Like I kind of, <laughs> I kind of want to come up and, and watch with you and be, and be together with everyone. So we're, we kind of have little groups sort of all over the country um, that are getting together. And like I said, we encourage registered attendees to gather together um, and be in person to enjoy vacation. Mm. School. So and if just you're one interested- last thing, I'm sorry, Julie. Oh, yeah. no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Register by the end of tomorrow. Because that yes. that'll be it. Because then we have to cut it off. But uh, before we meet again next week, somebody has a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. My birthday's coming up next week. Um, I think on Saturday, so the day before our um, our next video. And um, I love that our birthdays are so close together. Usually we end up um, celebrating kind of together when we're you know together at some point in the summertime. Um, cause you're, you just had a birthday on, um, on the 29th. So yes. I guess it's about what, like two, a little more than two weeks apart. Yes. But. And then two weeks after that is in. Yes. <laughs> oh, and uh, like June and July summer, we have a big cluster of birthdays in oh, June and July. Yeah. It rivals our cluster of birthdays in September. <laughs> Yes, it does. Well, we have a big family, so. We do have a big family. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Well, if you're part of our stamping family, um, then you get a discount on Vacation Stamping School. And so um, if you don't already have the discount code and you're part of our team, please reach out so that we can get it to you. Um, We'll have the link for registration in the video description. Um, But in case you can't find the video description, I know sometimes it's hard to find that little carrot, but the the registration URL is tinyurl.com slash vacation stamping school 2022. Really easy to type in and find. And we hope that you'll consider joining us for that virtual event in August. All right. In the meantime, we need to get going here. Just, I know. <laughs> we've been I chattering just... about vacation <laughs> saving school because we're in the thick of it, I guess. So well, it is true. Okay. I'm really excited about what we're going to um, show everybody today. So let's switch the yeah. camera over to your desktop so you All can right. share those featured products. So we had a request from a viewer to. Um, because we always ask, we want to hear from you. We want to know what you'd like to see. So what she wanted was the trees for sale. So um, in, in, our middle, uh, in our mini catalog on page 39 is the stamp set trees for sale. And what's fun about this, well, first of all, I love the dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I use the dog, but I love the dog. But what uh, to coordinate and go along with this because it's celebration for July and August, there is a set of dies that go with this. Look at that, page 12 and 13 of the celebration brochure. So it's a $100 level item and you get 24 dies. There are so many dies in that set. When I got it out to work with it, I was shocked. Yeah, I was too. I was too, but lots of cute samples here. And I do have some samples um, to show as well. So I'm going to actually just show you the the stamp set and the dies right now. So I'm going to close this, bam, and this, bam. (laughs) It's out of the way. So here is the stamp set. And so you get several sizes of trees. In addition to the um, dog, there are dog prints 
going into there. There's a tree stand. There's um, snowflakes and dots and a string of lights and a pole. So you could always put the string of lights on two poles. And there is a die that coordinates with the lights and the pole here and that puppy. And I think uh, all the stamped images. I, I think you're right. Almost. Was, yeah, almost all. There's a cute little wreath with a bow and this camper. So that's a lot of fun as well. So there are, I mean, there's just so many things you could do with this bundle. I'm calling it a bundle, even though it's not really. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, it's important to point out that the dyes are only available while supplies last during celebration. Yes. So we say, we say that celebration is July and August 20, you know, in 2022. However, it's possible that those dyes may sell out before the end of August. So if you're looking at these, don't wait, make sure that you order them early on during the celebration period. Yeah, that's very true. So that's what we're going to use today. So I don't remember now who asked for this, but thank you for the recommendation because I hadn't played with it yet. So um, this was fun. This was a fun one. So Julie, are you ready? I do. Do you want to share those swaps with the camper really quick though? I sure can. I sure can. There are so many different intricate um, dies for the camper, and it's not something that I've taken on um, yet, but we got these amazing swaps. Um, I think all of these were team swaps. I think so. So this was Mary McNeely, and she did the camper and put a little wreath. I love this. And she used some of the silver foil paper, which really adds to it. And she used some of our seasonal pearls to doll it up and um, just stamped all these wonderful trees. And I love how she uh, varied the color as well mm -hmm. on these, if you can see it, okay. So that is Mary's card, love it, love it. And this one, I believe is, I gotta look, cause I wrote it inside, Betsy Kreider. Mm -hmm. So Betsy Kreider, and she used, and I pulled this up, but I didn't use it. There's an embossing uh, folder that is Christmas trees. And so that's what she used as a background. And again, she used oh, almost the same colors as Mary McNeely. Ah, isn't that funny? Uh, yeah, some, it's kind of reversed. Uh, yeah, yeah, she did reverse it. So some little curtains. And I love how she tore the edge and added some Winkostella to indicate snow. And there's even a little thing when you when you park your camper. To, I guess I don't I don't have a camper, so I don't know. And then on the inside, she. I've just stamped a little tree in the corner. So I love those piece. colors. It's such a sharp card. I do too. And it doesn't all it doesn't have to be Christmas. Mm -hmm. I think that's the other fun thing is that you could do a lot with this. All right. So here's the last one. This one is from Teresa Tucker. And again, she well, she used vellum. She used that embossing folder on some vellum. And then she did a couple of trees, the silver camper with red curtains and um, some, um, I'm not sure if that's daffodil or I'm not sure what yellow she used to create like a, you know, the campers lit up. Oh, I love that. So Could yeah. be so saffron. Could be so, I bet that's it. I bet that's so saffron. And again, she used the wreath. Oh, and she put little steps. Look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good details. I love these cards. So th those are, are the swaps that I have to share. Um, I did not use the camper. So um, yeah, you'll just have to see what I came up with when it's my turn. <laughs> I'll switch it over to my desk. I didn't use the camper either because we had so many amazing samples already with it, but I did want to use a combination of the stamps and the dies. And so um, I already saw your card and kind of what you were doing. So I was trying to use some different images. And um, one thing that I did was to do uh, the layered trees. So there are dies that cut the detailed layer and then a die to put it onto. And so uh, my big tip is to use the adhesive sheets um, for these detailed pieces. Um, so if you don't have the adhesive sheets yet, it's item number 152334. It comes in a package like this. There's six inches by 12 inch sheets. Um, and so you can cut that down and just put it on the back of your cardstock before you die cut it. And one really cool thing about it is that it sort of does 
hold all those tiny little pieces in place um, sometimes, <laughs> which makes it a little less messy on your desk. So when you're ready, you can just peel those um, detailed pieces off the adhesive sheet, and then you can apply them to the, um, the wider, bigger um, die cut. And so my tip with this is to start at the tip of the tree at the top. And then I think that's the easiest way to line it up down, um, down the tree. And so with the adhesive already on there, you can just kind of put that together to create that um, detailed layered look with the dies. So one thing that's really cool about these dies is that I think you can use them very easily without having the trees for sale stamp set. So I think both of these um, work really well independently and also obviously together. So if you don't have the stamp set, I think that the, um, the die set is still a really fun option to choose during celebration. Wow. Okay, well, let me show you some of the measurements that we're using for this card. I have a Sahara sand card base regular measurement here, five and a half by eight and a half. And then also regular measurement on the whisper white for the inside, I'm sorry, basic white for the inside is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm using some of the Boughs of Holly designer paper. This is that poinsettia paper. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Um, I have a green stripe piece with uh, that is two inches by four and a quarter. And then just a kind of a red piece. It just has sort of like a watercolor pattern. Um, that's one and a quarter by two and three quarters. We'll have all the measurements in the video description for you. So you don't have to worry about writing all of these down. Um, and then I have a piece for the greeting that is three quarter inch by three and a quarter. And I did do some stamping ahead of time so that it could go a little bit faster. So we're just gonna do some assembly on this card. And I wanted to use, like I said, both the stamps and the, um, and the dies for this card. So we're gonna make a fun little window card. I have my um, card stock that's gonna fold right in half. And then I'm using the new decorative circle punch. This is new in the annual catalog. Um, hard to see that, but it's just sort of a wavy circle. And I, I just love this punch. I miss our circle punches. And so this is like the next best thing. I'm going all the way in from the side here and I'm gonna punch a little window. And that window is going to show through to the front of the card. So this will allow us to add some fun elements on the inside that you'll be able to see from the outside. And so um, here's my tip for stamping that. So you can either use a pencil and kind of trace the circle so you know where to stamp, or we can start with um, one image and then sort of build off of it. So I'm starting with the paw prints and I'm going to do this in Sahara sand ink. And so this will give me a starting point. And now I'm gonna take this out and stamp some trees. So just like the dies, the trees also have a little two step to them. They have the solid tree and then there's the detail to put on top. So I'm using soft succulent and evening evergreen. I love these colors for Christmas. These are both in colors and they're the, um, I, I call them junior and senior in colors. Do you do that, mom? <laughs> no, but I'm going to start. <laughs> yeah, so these are the senior in colors. They're, they're going to retire next spring. Um, and then the new ones are the juniors. And then so they they go from being junior to senior, <laughs> depending on, <laughs> on where they are. So I've stamped the um, the the two step trees with the paw prints. It's, I love those paw prints. I know, right? <laughs> You'll be able to see that when the window is closed. Um, but you know, some of it is hidden. So you get the full picture when you open that up. And I kind of actually wish that I had stamped everything just like a little bit over. Um, so you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm just going to trim a little um, off the cardstock to make it just a little bit smaller so that I can center it in that window. So I'm just taking like an eighth of an inch off either side. Um, and now it'll be a little better centered. So I'm going to add this to the inside of the card with some um, Stampin' Seal. And there that is in the window. And then on the front of the card, we've got our designer paper. And that's going to go on the side. Oh, Julie, I just love your cards. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I know that when we are doing these videos, we kind of put these cards together in a matter of like a few minutes, but I did spend a good like hour or two. <laughs> like, oh, yes. <laughs> trying to figure this card out. And I know you do too, mom. So I just want to say, uh, we're just like you guys at home. <laughs> the hardest part is, is doing the design. Yes. So pretty, look at that. So I'm just gluing those down with regular adhesive because I'm going to add the sentiment then with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I just love this pop of red on here because I think sometimes, you know, we get caught up in like the trees. And so like sometimes the card can be a little monochromatic. So I think the red with the greeting is just kind of the perfect, um, mm -hmm. the perfect thing to pop. Of course, I do have my little dog. He's done an early espresso. And you know what? I actually need the little ones. Let me reach over to my, here we go. A little baby stamp and dimensionals. I guess I could call these junior and senior too, huh? <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So the, I'm going to put the dog just sort of like over here, kind of on the side. And I do kind of feel like it needs a little something, like some linen thread. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. Does that kind of tie the card together? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> oh my god wow julie <laughs> i know i know i know i know <laughs> i'm not a dad but i do have a pretty strong dad joke game <laughs> <laughs> you do well so there's my card you got that little scene on the inside that peeks uh, through the window oh sweet julie oh i, I love it you like it oh, i love it I created a card using the same designer paper and now looking at it, it's almost a very similar layout without the window. <laughs> this oh, yeah. is your pattern from that Boughs of Holly. And so I really just think it coordinates with the trees really nicely. I a little glimmer paper under the sentiment and use the same really? paper across the card. Yeah, and some sequins. Oof. I was going for a different color combination when I made this oh. card. Thursday, yeah. Fresh Freesia. This pool party is actually some of the Splendid Day designer paper. And I added the um, the little snowflakes. Can you see that? I just oh, customized sure. the paper a little more to make it a little wintry. Very pretty. Thank you. And then I have one swap using the trees without the dyes. This is a oh. film. <laughs> Nice. Isn't that fun? Parakeet party. And then this this fun designer paper is part of the Celebrate Everything um, host paper pack that you can get when you have an mm -hmm. order that's over $150. I love that paper. It is so pretty. I love it, like every piece of it. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. I just yeah. opened the pack for the first time this week and I was surprised. There's a lot in there for like Christmas and fall. Like it's not just um, yeah. I meant to say Halloween, Halloween and fall. It's not just Christmas. It really yes. has a little bit of everything in there. Yes. Yes. Are oh. you ready, mom, to share? your? I home? am ready. So, um, I'm not using the campers I mentioned before, or the little puppy dog, which I probably should have. Um, I have pretty standard card measurements as well. Eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter for the card base. And then the uh, other piece that'll be on top is Starry Sky at three and three quarter by five inches. And the inside piece is also three and three quarter by five. And I've already done the inside piece to save some time on some of the stamping as well. I also, if you can see, and let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I did a bunch of trees. A bunch. A bunch, a bunch. <laughs> And the colors I used for my trees is shaded spruce and evening evergreen. Ooh. So I wanted some different colors. And so I just kind of like stamped off once or twice. Some I used like the, the shaded spruce, but then I used the evening evergreen to stamp over it again, just to give it, you know, because trees aren't all the same color. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did with the trees and I went ahead and die cut them out. And then I also did a string of lights and colored those and die cut those. So, all right, so let me get this out of the way here. So 
Um, something that I almost missed, and I, and I think it's real easy to miss it, in the, oh, I got my little trees for sale sign too. All right. Um, is this fun little set? And oh, I just see one piece for it. It doesn't come with first of mark, so let me if part and buy. <laughs> but this is in, oh shoot, is it the harvest? Yes, it's the harvest okay. one. The harvest yeah. bundle. It's um in that plastic sweet. harvest suite. It's on page 49. Thank you, Jay. You're welcome. So do you read how many do you remember powder? Oh pack? my gosh. Right? So I, I try like I don't even know how long ago that was. It has to be oh, like what? Know. 15 years probably absolutely um and they were black and there was a small one and then there was a larger tray and it had a little like rubber plug and then you mm -hmm. had to kind of work it out and then it would pop out and then you'd spray everything everywhere but what i really <laughs> like about this guy is that this screws up so for my aging hands i love it because then you can just tip it and get it back into your your container, or you can use a brush too and work with that. And you can also use this brush on your project. If you get um, embossing powder or you don't want it, you can very carefully use this brush. And then these little tweezers, I've made good use of these so far. And they're, they don't like, they're not like regular tweezers. You squeeze them to open. So if you have, for example, something small that you're embossing, you can just kind of pick it up and and hold it here so or you can use it for you know putting gems or whatever you want i mean it's it's just very versatile and i think that's my favorite part of the whole set do they call oh. those reverse tweezers is that what they are like yeah, it, it, right. hold, it holds without having to squeeze it so like right you right. squeeze it to open but then you can just hold it and you don't have to you know like other tweezers you have to constantly have that pressure on there yeah and brilliant these yeah, I think so. And these, they're heavy duty. They're not plastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, this piece is plastic, but the handle and the little screws and stuff, they're not. So it's got some heft to it, which I yeah. really love. And then the other thing, which we've been begging to have come back, <laughs> embossing buddies, right? Yes. Because any good crafter who does heat embossing needs an embossing buddy. So we have it back. So the whole, Julie, do you still have that page open? I do. The whole set is $27. The yeah. um, embossing additions toolkit is item number 159971. And celebration, of course, is just a perfect time to get oh like God. tools and essentials like this because, mm. um, I mean, this, I don't know, I think it's fun, but sometimes tools can be a boring buy, you know, but you get, you get to get something fun with celebration when you're stocking mm -hmm. up on these kind of essentials. That is very true. So I'm going to use it actually <laughs> right now on my starry sky piece. And um, I'm going to emboss some stars in the starry sky. And then our greeting, uh, which is going to be, you light up the season uh, will be uh, along the bottom. So what I did, so first let me use my embossing buddy. Yep, love it. So love what, it. For people who haven't embossed before, what does the embossing buddy do? Well, this is like a, a rosin bag. And so you get, you have oils and stuff on your hands. So if you try to put embossing powder on a non rosined piece of paper and you stamp your image and then you go to pick it up, you're going to have, you're going to end up with some embossing powder, like where, where your finger or thumbprints are. So this helps keep embossing powder off the, the part of the paper you don't want embossing powder. Okay. I love that. Does it, it's hard to say on my screen, but does it create like a, um, a powder, a, a powder on the cardstock or like, I don't really see a lot of powder on the cardstock. Is it pretty clean? It's pretty clean. You know, if you hit it really hard, you're going to spray powder all over the paper. But then you've got this cool new brush to help brush it away. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put my embossing buddy down. I'm going to get out my Versamark. Oh, I hope I grabbed my um, for filming one. Well, it's a little dirty. I have one that I have. <laughs> that is like brand new. All right, so I'm going to start with um, my greeting on the bottom. I'm going to line this up. Nope. 
I want it to be and come up a little bit. You light up the season. So you're you're lining up the cardstock with the grid paper. Is that what yeah. you were doing? Yes, because I want to make sure it helps me stamp straight. Yeah. You know, I years ago that. when I didn't use grid paper, I was turning my head and then I was turning mm. the stamp with my head. So uh, I bought grid paper and it's really helped. Okay, so now I want to put some um, some snowflakes in, but I'm going to lay this here real quick, just so I can kind of gauge where I want my snowflakes. Smart. And so I'm going to put some here. You can go off the page and it's okay. And some over here. And here. 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 Do I want any more? One more on the right side off the edge. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yep, okay, let's do it. So now I'm gonna get rid of this guy. For now, I'm gonna lay my cardstock in here. I'm going to cover my embossing powder <laughs> very, very quickly that if you don't and something happens and you spill your embossing powder, you're gonna get it all over your verse mark. And it sticks pretty good to that person mark pad. Yes, it does. All right. So I'm just going to pour a bunch on here. So I can retire my dollar store coffee filters. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. This is what's gonna happen now. You see down here, I'm gonna just add a little bit more. And with the, um, using the embossing buddy, I don't see any extraneous um, powder. So I'm going to unscrew my little cap. And just dump it right in. If you've been a demonstrator for very long, you probably um, have some. I was showing some customers this the other night and like, Half of them raised their hands and said, yep, still have mine, still have mine, use it all the time. <laughs> so I, st are, I still you know, have my tray somewhere. I think I finally gave my trays to um, Nina for Eloisa to use for sorting beads and that sort of thing. So there we go. So it keeps my work out. Oh, you know what? I have some on my table that I am I'm going to move this for a minute. I don't like that. All right. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. That I'm not going to need at this point. Here. And excuse me while I brush off the extra All right. So I'm going to grab my Neat tool. And keep this up. It's like magic. It, I, it never, you know, I always get the biggest thrill when it turns. You know? Embossing really is like magic. Um, you, you know what else is magic? The sound on your microphone. Yeah. Like once you turn that um, heat tool on, it it just like blocks that sound. So like I don't hear anything from your embossing gun. Nice. Technology is crazy. <laughs> it really, truly is. Yes. And so is embossing. Like, this is so beautiful. I love the contrast of the white on this starry sky. It is gorgeous. Thank you. Well, you know, because we used to go out at night to um, buy our trees, remember? Vaguely. I'm thinking, yeah, you were pretty young. But yes, your dad would come home from work and we'd have dinner and it's like, let's go get a tree. So... <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead, put this on. Oh, you know what? I don't know that it's finished. I see a spot. 
I was just going to ask you, how do you know if, if someone's embossing for the first time, how can they tell when it's done or not done? Like what's, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a complete turnover of color so that it's got to pop up a little bit and maybe be a little shiny. Mm -hmm. And if it looks grainy or if it looks kind of dry, then I'm suspicious. And um, I didn't want to touch it because I didn't want to, but then I, the real test is if you touch it and the word go or the letter goes away and you'll know that it wasn't. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get my, use my favorite adhesive, but I will use this one. So we'll go ahead and put our inside piece in. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach the starry sky piece to the front of the card and then start building from there. That is such a gorgeous inside. Thank you. I know what the card's going to look like. The whole card is stunning. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, honey. Okay. So sometimes when you emboss, it, the paper can kind of curl. So you want to make mm -hmm. sure that you are pressing down um, on your adhesive because it helps bond it to the, um, to the card. All right, I didn't use, shame on me, our um, <laughs> adhesive paper when I did this. Oh. So I am going to use just a wee little bit of, and you don't need much. So I'm just basically going to do the lights and the ends. And then I'm just going to line it up here and put our string of lights on. So now we're going to add our trees. So I kind of like to lay them out. Um, and, and I want to vary some of the colors too. So uh, let's see, let's put here and maybe have one. Let's put this guy maybe here. Some in the background. Oh. All right. So you get the drift, right? So we're gonna kind of just I have a lot of I have a lot of trees. So um, did you use all three sizes or just the large? I did. Thing? I used all three sizes. Let's put this guy over here. So this is kind of what I'm looking for, kind of the cluster. So I'm going to put like this back row. That's going to go on with some seal or liquid glue or whatever you want to use. All right, so I'm going to put this one here. I want to be above, above my greeting and below my lights. All right, and then let's take this guy out. And there's no rhyme or reason to lining up your trees. It certainly is just how you want to do it. So this guy can come down just a little bit. Other big guy over here. Now I'm going to get out some dimensionals. And now we're going to put, let's see here, I'm going to put this guy right here, but I think I'm going to put him flat as well. And then I think a lot of these are going to be dimensional. This guy, this guy's also flat. <laughs> <laughs> so really just the front row will be dimensionals. Much, yeah. All right, so now let's start putting dimensionals on these guys. I love this layered look and the different colors on the trees really add to, you know, the depth and the, um, the, I don't know the word I'm looking for, I guess just depth. <laughs> well, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for that depth. Um, or just for that reason. Which I know sometimes doesn't always make sense, so. I don't know how many more trees I think I need. I don't know if that's enough or not. That's seven trees. 
this might be too much, huh? Maybe I did too many trees. I got carried away. If I anything, know. I would add them like behind the trees in the top, you know, to sort of extend them. I mean, you probably don't want dimensionals, but you know what I mean? Kind of filling it out the, mm. the top side. I don't know. Well, don't forget about your sign, your trees for sale sign. Oh, that's just it. That's why it's got to go here too. So yeah, I think I'm going to just do that here. Yeah, I think I'm going to just leave it at seven trees. A nice odd number. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there is that component for sure. Do you know why I'm, I, I like using odd numbers? You know the theory behind it? Uh, I mean, it just sort of like your brain, the way it divides up. You know? Exactly. You are exactly right. <laughs> in numbers, your brain tries to dissect it. And it's an unpleasant sensation up in your head. Okay, so what I did is I took some of our basic rhinestones. I have this little guy who's following me around. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I took it, uh, some of our blends and colored some of our clear dyes. And I did color these in because I, I thought of this afterwards. So, um, but that's okay. And then they fit, these little guys fit so perfectly right over there. Oh, I love that. Because I have to bling up my cards. A little twinkling light. Yeah, and I, I thought about just leaving it white because, you know, there's white light sometimes, that I, uh -huh. want, but I wanted a little extra color. Oops, come back. Yeah, that's an interesting it. question. You'll have to leave a comment and um, let us know at Christmas time when you decorate, do you prefer colored lights or white lights? Ooh. I am a fan of white lights. As am I. I just think it's classic and simple and yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not dissing colored lights. Oh heavens no. But uh, when I decorate, I like the white lights. And I, I mean I I feel like it you're either one way or the other when you're decorating. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh so my oh, I see I got a little I love it, Mom. Whoop. So there it is. I've got this up a little too high. Here's my one that <laughs> these things just love me today. So this one, I, I kind of like the placement better because um, this should be down a little bit or the tree should be up a little bit more. Oh yeah. So, and then on the inside, of course, we have our line of trees and our Christmas greetings, which won't stand crooked. So let's look at the straight stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh so my yeah, there it is. Such an There's awesome card. card. Let's flip the camera around and show off our cards together. Oh, whether you're using just the trees for sale stamp set or the tree lot dies or using them together, I think this is such a winning combination for the upcoming oh, holiday season. And you can get the dice for free. I know, right? <laughs> That's the best part. I, I love yeah. celebration. Getting anything for free is just amazing. And so now that we have celebration twice a year in January and February, and then again in July and August, I mean, I feel kind of spoiled, right? <laughs> I do love, and I love giving away free stuff. I love yeah. saying to them, hey, what would you like for your free celebration item? I love saying that to people. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, we'll have the links in the video description so you can shop with us as well as the shopping list showing you all the supplies that we use for today's project. So yes. if you would like to get your tree lot dies for free, then make sure you get your order with mom or I as soon as possible. Um, the last possible date to get the tree lot dies is August 31st, 2022. But like we said, it may sell out sooner. So don't, don't right. wait that long. Because there is a little disclaimer on the bit, which is hard <laughs> for me to read because it's in like minus five font, but it says supplies are limited and may run out before the promotion ends. 
Yeah. So that's from the legal department. <laughs> it's hard to say, right? Like how long that will, you know, they yeah. may last all the way until the end of August. So they might. Um, you just never know. So yeah. as you're prioritizing, I think we said this last time, as you're prioritizing your celebration gift choices, then um, we would definitely suggest you prioritize the dyes first yes. and make sure you get the ones that you want. Yes, absolutely. Well, we'll we well, should wrap it up. <laughs> we should. So thank you so much for joining us today. And until next Sunday, Stamping with Susan and Julie. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Have a great week. Love you, Mom. You too. Love you too, babe.